Hey guys, uh, just doing a quick deck profile uh, of Orange Ginyu today because I'm nothing better to do. Um, I was really proud of uh, this deck over the past several regionals. Um, this deck idea was originally given to me by uh, Mike Gomont and uh, he ran it at the New York Regional. He's running it for quite some time and uh, it's evolved throughout set three. Uh, when he ran it originally uh, in New York, it was slightly different than this, probably five, six cards different. And he topped, and he had a really good record. I think he won X1, but he, of those wins, he beat the original, the uh, eventual winner. Um, he lost in top 16 to Orange Krillin. Um, recently in Chicago, I ran this deck, and uh, I went undefeated, um, 701, and then lost in top 16 to a misplay, but also to. Um, uh, San Turles, which was a really good deck, really good build. He eventually went on to top four and lost to the guy who made second place. Um, as of yesterday, um, the player Eric Malone won first place with this deck. Him and I have known each other for a couple of years. And uh, I suggested that he would run this deck because it's done so well in the regional environment. It's a good call for the meta and it beats pretty much the best decks out there. Um, I consider this deck probably top two best decks of the game. Black Krillin is probably still the best deck in the set three meta, but I would say that this deck is either second or tied for first. It's just so damn good, uh, and we'll go through the uh, list right now. So I can explain some of these choices. Um, of course, Orange Ginyu. Uh, we'll start with the tax. Orange Stare Down, staple. Got to run it. If you're going to run Orange Energy, it clears the board of all the threats and... Um, does five life at the minimum. Overpowering attack, you gotta run it if you're running allies. Does so much for one card, keeps the pressure on, and you can do some uh, pretty crazy combos with this and Raccoon. Um, and the level two, you can constantly have your allies out and uh, keep up with the pressure. Orange power point, again, staple card, three endurance. You have to run this, get your drills out early, helps set up your board, and is a huge attack. Withering fires, uh, this is a tech choice. Uh, this could have been a couple different things, but the reason why I ran it, Mike ran it, Eric ran it, is because uh, against Blue, Blue Piccolo, you can banish their drills so they can't get any type of board presence. Against Mirror Match, it helps significantly. Against Black, uh, Black Krillin can never get out at Smoothness Drill for too long. You can enter combat and destroy or banish their uh, drills with this or that. You want to get rid of their racing drills so they can't hurt your board and so forth. Blinding Energy move. Um... Card's really good. It will end combat in tough situations. It helped me against, uh, I mean, if a uh, physical base deck is going to enter on you every single turn, try to beat you down like a Saiyan deck, or someone trying to aggro you out, you can use this to end combat and get your board set up. Um, in general, it's really good. If your opponent has a couple of visiting the past on the board and they use them, you can use this to end combat, and then you uh, get them frustrated. Physicals, I'll dig your grave, times three. Uh, this card helps a lot in this deck because the energies are so big. So if you get a combat where you have this and a couple energies in hand, you can do you can you can half deck your opponent in one turn. It also acts as a way to get Nappa and Krillin off level one. I won one of the games in my regional because of this against the Nappa deck. Uh, if you're watching the stream last night with uh, Eric Malone, he uh, you know he won the game against the Black Krillin in top four because of this card. He advanced to level two, then locked out his opponent with uh, Nappa. You know, he could, the opponent couldn't really get Nap off the board, and even if he did, he could just use his level 2 to get it back out. Also, I'll Dig Your Grave helps against uh, physical beatdown decks. Against Santurlis, if he's beating you down, you can use this to advance him to his bad level 2, or keep the pressure up. Orange Uppercut, again, another staple type card. You can pay the two stages with your allies to tutor anything you need. Uh, Ginyu's pretty big at his level 1 and his level 2. So you can do some physical beats. I mean, there was combats where I would enter with I'll Dig Your Grave and Orange Uppercut and just physically beat down my opponent. So that helps too. Orange Launcher, again, another staple card. You have to run this if you're running Orange. It triggers the mastery and does so much for one card. It helps against a Dragon Balls, Mirror Match, you, can, you know, whatever you want. Really good card. Sagacious Strike. Uh, Mike wasn't originally running this in his build. I put it in because it triggers the mastery and I was afraid of Blue Piccolo Ball decks. You know, the deck that won in Chicago. Um, it, it, it just it's too good not to run in my opinion um, with triggering the mastery and also getting rid of my opponent's uh, board, their allies and so forth 
Uh, I would say you have to run this card. Just really good. Uh, I'll just save time right now. Here's the ally package. You already know what it is. All the Ginyu Force allies, Nappa and Frieza. Nappa and Frieza help significantly against the Mechian and uh, other matchups. But I would say against the Mechian, uh, get this guy out first. <laughs> He's more important than Nappa. And then you can get Nappa out and walk out their board. It's really good. Utility cards, three stair down. I would say, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Alvaro, but you need to run three in this deck. I know he's running two. Um, this card is just broken. You got to run three of this. It's just so fucking good. Um, it won me so many games. I, I enter combat all the time with no defense in my hand. I'll enter combat with a stair down and a couple of attacks and just go off. Uh, three uh, spheres. Um, you've noticed over the course of this season that people like uh, Elmer Walter and others have run three spheres. If you're running aggro, because you can keep up the pressure constantly, you can keep entering and do some crazy stuff with it. This card helps so much against black, against the Mechian. They can't scout out your stuff. They can't use overtime. They can't use their stare downs, their conversations. Um, and if you trick them and they use their visiting to get time, you have this in your hand. Uh, it just does so much. And I strongly suggest you run three spheres. Uh, defense, right here. I ran about six physical defense, three orange quick dodges. Again, one of the best physical blocks in the game. Uh, gains five stages where you need it and prevents damage from there. I ran one orange refocus because it worked in Mike's deck, so I took his, his um, defense package. Um, a one of his really good, has endurance, can get a drill out. And I consider the body switches as physical defense as well. Uh, this helps a lot against physical beatdown decks. And um, in this deck, if you get a really good start and go aggro. Um, you can keep entering every turn. Eventually you're gonna go down to one above zero or zero, and then you can use this against your opponent to advance to level two and then go off from there. Staple card, you already know. Uh, three orange energy catches, mostly running this because of endurance. Does a lot for one card. Uh, this with Burger, uh, it, it gives you plus two on your attacks. Burger gives you plus two on your attacks. You can go off in one turn, stage lock them. Orange Energy Absorption, I ran three of these because I think this is still an energy meta. Uh, and again, it gains stages, has endurance, raising my anger. And over the course of the game, with this little anger gain that you can get from this, this, and so forth, you can eventually advance levels and, and you know really go off on your opponent. If you go from level one or, uh, to two or two to three. The drill package is just six drills. Three offensive ones, as you see in the top. Uh, the two defense drills and the orange hiding drill. And then... Aura Drill, of course. Energy Phasing Drill, which I think every orange deck should run if you're running orange energy because it clears the board of all the threats against Piccolo Namekian, against Black Krillin, against all the decks that are meta decks that have can have board presence. If you get this drill out, you can win games. I, I actually use this, this card to uh, help me beat, uh, you know, or I could have beaten a Saiyan Turles because even Saiyan has setups that you don't want on the board, so that helps. Orange Energy, uh, orange energy Dandrill's Broken Card. Uh, it forces your opponent to stop your attacks. If you don't, then, uh, again, I can search your deck and then get rid of all your threats. I can then memorize how much defense you have and then, and, you know, estimate from there to, and keep the pressure up. That's all about this. That's all this deck is about is keeping pressure up and going in. I can go in with uh, three-card hands, sometimes two-card hands, depending on what I have. Dragon Ball 7 for uh, late-game pressure. You know, you're constantly shuffling your deck with Ginyu's power. So... Uh, eventually you're going to hit this card, hopefully late game, and then stack your deck, and then win with a broken hand. And for setups, I only run three, two visitings, staple in my opinion, and visage, which again is a staple in my opinion. Um, and that's pretty much the deck. I mean, it's pretty straightforward from there. This deck now has a, what, three for three record. I mean, three different people have run this deck at three different regionals, and all three of us have topped. Uh... You know, I think this deck is really good. You'll notice that this deck is like significantly different than Arvel Rose build and other builds that have uh, been Orange Ginyu this season. I run less physical defense and so forth, but it doesn't really hinder me that much. Um, again, I want to thank Mike Goman for this deck. Uh, it worked really well. Hopefully next set this deck keeps up or who, who knows what next set has in store, but here's the deck. So for all you going to Canada and California and even Texas, here you go. This deck's really good. Congratulations to everyone who has used this deck, and um, we'll see you next time.